product of a binomial and a trinomial of special form. For example, a plus b, so that's the binomial, times a squared minus ab plus b squared. That's the trinomial. So if you have this case, this will just be your pattern. a cube plus b cube. It means you just have to cube the first and the second term, and that's it. But please take note that you can only apply this pattern if your trinomial is also in this pattern. Where in the first term and the last term of this trinomial came from the square of the first term and last term of your binomial. And the middle term must be the combination of the two. If the pattern is not like that, you cannot apply this a cube plus b cube. Same with the second example. And if the given is really a product of a binomial and a trinomial of special form, you just have to follow these steps. Very easy step. First, cube the first term of the binomial. Second, cube the second term of the binomial. Very easy. But remember, make sure that the trinomial is really in the special form. Let's start with our example. x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. Let us check first if this is really a special product. First, first term and last term must be the square of first and last term of your binomial. So x, x squared, 2, 2 squared, that is 4. So correct. And then the middle term must be combination of the 2. x and 2. So we have 2x. Okay, now let's proceed with the answer. So the answer you will just be depending on the binomial. Cube the first term of your binomial. So we have x as our first term. We just have to write x cubed. Then second, cube the second term of the binomial. Second term of the binomial is 2. So 2 cubed will be 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times another 2 is 8. And that's it. We have x cubed plus 8. Next, 3x minus 4 times 9x squared plus 12x plus 16. You look at the pattern. So again, first and last term must come from the square of the first term and last term of your binomial. 3x times 3x, 9x. 4 times 4 is 16. Then the middle term, combination of the two, 3x times 4 is 12x. So let us proceed with the answer. Again, just cube the first term, 3x, so it will be 3 times 3 times 3 and x times x times x. So 3 times 3 times 3, that will be 27. x times x times x, that will be x cubed. Then last step, cube the second term. Second term is negative 4, so negative 4 times negative 4, that will be 16. Times negative 4, you will have negative 64. And that's it. That will be the answer. Uh, last example. Okay, before we proceed with the answer, we check if this is really a special product. So, first and last term is from the square of first and last term. x squared times x squared, that is x raised to 4. 2y times 2y, that is 4y squared. Then the middle term must be the combination of the two. So x squared times 2y, that is 2x squared y. Okay, that's correct. So let us proceed with the answer. So to get the answer, just cube the first term, x squared. So x squared times x squared times x squared, that will be x raised to 6. And for the second term, we have negative 2y times negative 2y. So negative 2 times negative 2, that's 4 times negative 2, that will be negative 8. And for y, it will be y cubed. That's it. So we have x raised to 6 minus 8y cubed. 